Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a reverse kangaroo. To go with this other kangaroo we crocheted last time, these small kangaroos would look good as a pair of earrings. I haven't worked all the sizes this time, but the size would be the same as the other kangaroo. When crocheted using 8 ply yarn and a 3mm hook, the size would be 9 cm wide by 8 cm or 3.5 inches wide by 3 inches. When crocheted using 4 ply cotton and a 1.5mm hook, the size would be 6 cm wide by 5.5 cm or 2.5 inches wide by 2.25 inches. And these small kangaroos crocheted using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1mm hook are four and a half centimetres wide by four centimetres or one and three quarter inches wide by one and a half inches. I'll be using Katona cotton the same as this. I'll tell you the size at the end of the video. There are three pairs of kangaroos made into earrings. I'll be using Katona cotton. I've got 383 ginger gold for the main colour and 105 bridal white just for a tiny bit on the ear. You could embroider a bit on the ear if you'd prefer. I've got a 2.5mm crochet hook, a darning needle to weave in the ends, scissors and black thread and a needle to embroider on the eye and the nose. Now We'll start at the bottom of the body and work up to the head. I've got my 383, the ginger gold, and we start with 6 chain. For row 1, we work 1 single crochet in the second chain from the hook. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet we put the hook into the stitch and bring through a loop, put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through both loops. Then we work one half double crochet into the next chain. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work one double crochet into the following stitch. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. We put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next chain and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops. Then we work one half double crochet into the next chain and one single crochet into our last chain. And the different stitches just gives it a curved bottom. For row two we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first four stitches. And into our last stitch we work one single crochet and one half double crochet. For row 3 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then one single crochet into each stitch to the end. We'll have seven stitches. For 
For row 4 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches. So we put our hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, then hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. There's 3 loops on the hook, we put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. There'll be six stitches. For row five, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch. Now we're going to work a joined single crochet, half double crochet and double crochet over the next three stitches. So we put our hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Then put the yarn around the hook and hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop. Then put the yarn around the hook and put our hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Then yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Then yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Now that just makes our work bend up. For row 6 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the two stitches. For row 7 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each stitch. For row 8 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 1 single crochet into each of the 2 stitches. And then we work 3 chain. For row 9 we work 1 slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. We put our hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook. Then we work 1 single crochet into the last chain and then we spin our work around and work 1 single crochet into each of the 2 stitches. For row 10 we start with 1 chain and turn and we work a joined single crochet over the two first two stitches. And that's the body and head without the neatening row. Now we're going to work one chain quite tightly and turn our work and slip stitch into the stitch on top of the head. Now we're going to work the ear. We start with two chain and we work one slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. And then slip stitch back down in that same stitch on the head and that's the ear done. Now we're going to work one slip stitch in each stitch down the back and to the first stitch at the back of our work and then we'll work our tail. So one slip stitch in each stitch down around the top of the back.
Once we get to the back, for our tail, we start with 14 chain. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each of the next three chain. Then we work one single crochet into the following chain and then one half double crochet into the next chain. Now we're going to work two half double crochet into each of the next three chain. So two half double crochet into each of the next three chain. One half double crochet into the following chain. And we're going to work a joined double crochet over the last three chain. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next chain and bring up a loop, then yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Then yarn around the hook hook into the next chain and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. There's three loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook, hook into the last chain and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. We've got four loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. And then we slip stitch into the body down near the bottom where our near where our tail is. And that's the tail done. Now we're going to work one slip stitch probably into about two, two stitches. Just to the end of the body. So just in there and we're going to work the leg now. We start with two chain and work one half double crochet into the same stitch as the last slip stitch and then we work five chain. That's for the foot. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each remaining chain. and then spin our work around and slip stitch into the top of the stitch. Then work one slip stitch in each stitch down the back of our leg. And now turn the work around 
and we're going to pass our work behind the leg and then start working slip stitches up from just after the leg, that first stitch after the leg. And we work a slip stitch in each stitch till, till about four from our neck. We'll work the arm there. So our neck's there, so I'll work one more slip stitch. Now for the arm we work five chain. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each remaining chain. and then slip stitch in the same stitch as our last slip stitch at the top where we start working the chain. Now we work one slip stitch in each stitch around to the beginning of the row. I probably should have changed to a finer hook for the neatening row just to make it a bit easier. And when we get to the top of the head we fasten off. And that's the kangaroo's body, head and tail done. I'll just weave in those ends and I'll be back and we'll work this back leg and the ear. Now for this back leg we join the 383, the ginger gold, in the stitch behind our front leg. So this stitch here. and we work one chain, we work one single crochet in the same stitch as the join and then work six chain we miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each remaining chain and then slip stitch into the top of the single crochet 
from the back and then fasten off. And that's the back leg done. I'll use my thread to just stitch it down under the front leg. For the ear, the first part, I've got my 383, the ginger gold, and we start with two chain. and work one slip stitch in the second chain from the hook and then fasten off I'll leave a long tail to attach it to the kangaroo's head now we join in the bridal white our contrast colour just at the top of the ear where our chain was left. Now you could just embroider this bit on if you'd prefer and work one chain and slip stitch in the stitch down the side and then slip stitch at the bottom of the ear and fasten off. And that's the ear done. I'll weave in the rest of the ends except this one here and then I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now there's my pieces. I've got the kangaroo and the ear. The first things I'll do is stitch the back leg in under the front leg and I'll embroider the eye on just in there and the nose just at the end there. The last thing we do is attach the ear just down under the first ear, so just in there. There's the finished kangaroo with its mate. The size is 7 centimeters square or 2 and 3 quarter inches square. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.